40 plus year olds, what's your advice to people in their 20s? Don't fall for the trap that your life needs to be one long narrative that you should be building. Life is best when it's a bunch of happy moments that just happen to be connected. Don't try to make your life into a novel, make it a book of poems. Don't put yourself in ridiculous amounts of debt trying to portray a certain image, you'll spend your entire life trying to get out of the hole you dug, or you'll have to declare bankruptcy. Set aside enough money to cover 3 to 6 months of expenses for emergencies just like now. Moreover, save now for your retirement years, it doesn't require much, and if you have it taken directly from your paycheck you won't be inclined to not pay yourself first. Take care of your body. Exercise to maintain a healthy weight and good cardiovascular health. As you get older, it's much harder to maintain these. Enjoy the days of your youth without going overboard. There is nothing wrong with having a good time. Yet if you are always waking up wondering what happened last night, why you can't remember how you spent so much money or you always have a hangover, you should tone it down a bit. Don't take advice or criticism as a personal attack. Most times the people who care about you have observed behavior in you which is off-putting, doesn't reflect who you really are, or could be, or would make you a more rounded person. I'm 81 and I really can't distill it down to one thing so here goes. Be yourself. Stop trying to live up to others' expectations, and do your own thing. Get moving. Whether it's bike riding or walking, or a gym membership, just move. Eat healthy, yes. Those fast food fries and burgers are easy, but you will pay for that sometime in the future. Start eating healthy, so it becomes a habit. Be kind to people, if everyone did this. Imagine what a world we would live in. Become politically active. Support honest, progressive candidates in whatever way you can. And vote, vote. Drink at home. It's cheaper and you don't run the risk of a DUI. 45 year here. Did most of these myself, and have a pretty good life right now. Eat right and exercise. You can get away with not doing it right now, but you'll regret it later. Live frugally, save money, and invest. Pay off debt, if you have it. Don't overspend, especially on impulse, or trying to impress people. Make yourself marketable. A college degree is nice, but be ready to work and prove you can get the job done. Way too many useless bullshitters getting by on political games in the corporate world. Never give out personal loans. If you do get married, marry a good person who wants to be a life partner. Life has its ups and downs, and you'll need a true life partner for the bad times. People usually divorce for three reasons. Money, intimacy, and kids. Make sure you're on the same page before committing. Don't waste your friendships. Get in shape, and stay in shape. If you don't know what your passion is, your job is to find out what your passion is, then work in that direction. I'm 46. I was a touring musician for 15 years, up until I was 40. Dirt broke. Worked in bars. When I was home lived hand to mouth. Would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm a family guy now, with a normal job, but I'll never have a midlife crisis. Get to know your parents as people. Ask them all about their early lives and about their parents and other relatives. Write these things down, if you can. Before you know it, they will be gone. Either physically or mentally and there will be so many things you want to know. Save. If your job offers a 401k, take advantage of that. If not, open a savings account and put something in it every pay. Even if you can only afford to put in 5 bucks, it still adds up. Don't be afraid to do things by yourself. Go to that show. See the movie, take a day trip, don't miss out on opportunities, because no one will go with you. Don't think that, just because you've been with your partner for so many years you can't start over slash you'll never meet anyone slash no one will want you. Instead look at it as not wasting your time on someone who doesn't deserve it. Take care of your teeth, it is so expensive to get them fixed, and if you let it go too long it'll mess up your health. Work hard, but also have fun. That huge paycheck probably isn't worth it, unless you're super materialistic. Having a brand new Tesla or a luxury condo is fun for a month. Having good friends and balanced life is fun for a lifetime. Don't let yourself get out of shape. If you're addicted to nicotine, stop. If not, don't ever start. 
Very few companies out there will ever give a crap about you. You should never feel any loyalty to them. Ask him slash her slash them out. Worst case you get a no. Life isn't a competition. No one wins and no one gets out alive. Be happy as much as possible. Buy metal dental tools to floss your teeth. You can mess up your credit score and pay off credit card debt. You just shouldn't use any credit while you do it. Exercise and eat healthy. It catches up to you in your 40s. Go to concerts and clubs and dance all night while you can. I'm glad that I did that in my 20s. Leave your job if the people there suck. There are other jobs out there. Having a kid was really hard on me. I don't think everyone has to have kids. I love him so much, but it caused me to lose a good job. Stretch. Start stretching. Do yoga. Keep stretching. Never get out of the habit. You don't have to be in the best shape to be happy, but stretching makes everything feel better. Keeps it feeling good, and means that when you inevitably hurt yourself at some point in the future it's easier to recover. You may feel invincible now. Every person in their 20s does. And then you hit 30, and you start noticing things like it hurts when you jump down the last two stairs instead of walking down them, or when you wake up, or just from existing in my 40s now, and I'm still doing just fine, and find my daily yoga practice matters more than any other exercise I've ever done. I'm gonna be cheeky and answer though I'm a bit too young. If you feel scared of a family member or partner, listen to that feeling. And find someone safe you can talk about it with making friends is increasingly awkward as you get older. But push through it. Because other people are wonderful and worth it. Setting boundaries with people is a kind thing to do. For them and you. Some boundaries are obvious and should never be crossed. But many social boundaries can be hard to totally predict. And how other people react to you telling them your limits is a big test of whether or not you can trust them. If you stretch your calves. Hamstrings and piriform miss muscles most days. Easy to find stretches for these on YouTube. It will help with back pain and might make it go away. Make your mistakes on someone else's dime and then do it yourself for yourself. A well-defined problem is half the solution. Save 15% of your income no matter what and invest in the SP500. You will retire well. Do not accumulate debt. Pay everything off quickly. If you need to borrow for anything other than education and housing, you cannot afford it. Be a giver, and marry a giver and you will be happy till the day you die. Everything about high school was all made up, and the points don't matter, as general advice, that everyone will ignore, and then shake their fist at themselves for not listening to later. Don't get in over your head on debt, it will haunt you for a long time. I didn't listen to it, you probably won't either, but I warned you. Remember this moment, when you think it won't happen to you. Second piece of advice. If you're going to join the military pick the Air Force or Navy, so you'll get actual applicable skills to the real world, and won't die. Someone presents any consistent hassle in your life, cut them off. I've had tons of friends, and no friends. I'm much happier when it is just me and my partner doing what we do. The more people in life the more complicated. Not that I'm anti new people. Just for me to actually class you as a friend and let you into my life fully. I actually want to know your character properly. You will waste too much time arguing about pathetic things and trying to work around other people otherwise. Choose adventures and experiences over material things. Choose kindness and connection. If you like being intimate, be it alert. If you like to party, party a lot. If you like to dance, dance as often as possible. But if you like to drink, be moderate about it to protect your liver. It's your body. Feel free to touch it, use it, and advocate for it. If you can save money while following your interests, do. If you have to choose between the two, choose following your interests. But don't go into debt in the process. Be gentle with yourself. Assume everyone you meet is doing their best with the resources they have. If you want to have children, first read up on modern understandings of childhood and childhood development. We understand a lot more about it now than your parents did. And the insights into connecting, listening, respecting, and the different developmental stages can do a lot to increase your enjoyment of parenting and help you heal from your own childhood trauma as well as help you avoid passing on that trauma to your children. Raising kids can be a joyful experience. Humans are, at heart, learning machines. If you find yourself bored, it's likely you've mastered 
to the best of your current ability, your current interests, it's totally normal to cast about for the next fascinating thing, and to do a deep dive into it, we may be taught, that a person ought to stick to one thing forever, but, in truth, most of us will switch careers multiple times, switch partners, and drop hobbies, it's more important to be resilient, and have good critical thinking, planning, and learning skills than it is to be blindly devoted to any one person, thing, or activity. The only exceptions being offspring and pets slash animals. You are 100% responsible for taking care of those within your sphere of influence who have no power, themselves.